Good morning, it's Victoria. Welcome back to Femhead. Today we're gonna do a little clean with me video, a little quick one. I'm gonna show you the disaster that is my house this morning. It's not a disaster. It won't take that long to clean, and I want to show you that. Um, but it's just life with children. So first, we're gonna show you what's happening. Then I'm gonna go make a coffee, and then we're gonna clean up. So here we go. in the living room and then work my way around to the dining room and then the kitchen um i did about three and a half minutes in the kitchen while i made my coffee just like unloading the dishwasher and getting things prepped because if i would clean the kitchen first and then went and cleaned out here like there's ki there's dishes in the dining room from breakfast there's dishes in here from this morning so there's nothing more frustrating than like thinking you're done with the room especially the kitchen and then not being done Jesus Christ, that was hot. down here as you can see um i keep most of the boys toys down here every now and then like toys will seep upstairs or if we get a new one like sometimes there's toys in the living room in the kitchen there are toys outside like the outside toys but this is usually like their play area where the toys live and the, like toy storage is down here so as you can see i have the cubby um, I feel like this is very common. You see a lot of people do this and you put one toy per cubby. And so now that Lincoln's old enough to like move around, crawl around him, and he likes to play with stuff. I put the bottom shelves as like Lincoln toys and the top shelves as steel toys, but they both play with both of them, if that makes sense. So I just recently got a little delivery from Love Every again and such good toys. So we're going to do a toy rotation and feature some of those new toys that we got because they're just, they're such good toys. And one of them is like the block set, which I'm really excited about. Like that comes, this is the little box that it comes with. But then, I mean, some of them are strewn about because the boys got into them, but the block set. And so I think that's gonna be like one of the big toys. My camera's setting on the box, but the box I got, the place that I got was the Enthusiast. And so that is for 28, 29, and 30 months old children. Theo is 26 months old, so I usually get like the next box up. So he's like in the range of the previous box, which I have the stuff for. Um, so when I like 
get the opportunity to order him a box i order him like the next one up um and for the most part like some of the toys he has to grow into but that's fine like gives him more ways to play with it i always start by just pulling the old toys off the shelf and then seeing what i want to keep so come along with me as i redo this I'm this is a little puzzle that came in this box enthusiast box so that's gonna be theo's first one a book a little picnic box set and theo's already played with this and he thinks it's a lot of fun crunchy thing for lincoln like, honestly it can be the most random toys theo loves anything to do with cleaning so that could be his last one Little, like connect four thing and you can use those pieces to like balance the scale as well and then those I'm gonna put this one up by here to hold these like pieces this might not look like a ton of toys and I like you're depriving your children but I promise you this is more than enough I like in a perfect world I switch it up every like one to two weeks but I do it every couple weeks less is more it helps them with decision fatigue and sometimes when you have too many toys to play with it's just like overwhelming and I find that Theo would just like tear things down like pull everything off the shelf and then not want to play with them and I feel like with swapping it out, it makes the toys seem like new and exciting and he actually will play with them. So for Lincoln, I've got a little set of maracas. This little car. Um, one of these like squishy Morphe balls. And then this little like, it hung on like one of those like little playset things. We still have it. So it's just a crunchy panda. Feel, love this thing. He would chew on it. Lincoln's starting to teeth, I think, so having things to chew on is nice. And then moving up, that puzzle, he's actually really good at this. I thought it would be a little bit too difficult for him. A book, because he loves reading, that little picnic set, and the little broom and dustpan set, the, like, Connect Four set. Well, that's not even, that's not Connect Four, Victoria. It reminds me of Connect Four. This little scales balancing set and over here we have the blocks set and then Lincoln really likes this he's at the age where he pulls himself up on anything um, so this one has just like all sorts of it has blocks and peoples and plank so there's just all sorts of fun things in here um, so they both can play with that one as well and that's that's the toy corner and then I usually keep some diapers in here but that's that needs to get filled let's go upstairs so while i have you down here we're just going to do a quick tidy of everything else 